Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth part of the Black Ball Potting Guide. Um, I'm going to proceed with the three-quarter high black. Super important shot, this one. So this is about three-quarter ball high black. In terms of potting, if you play slow topspin, you have to overcut that slightly, just a just little bit. Actually, I'm going to put the red here because this is the most common shot. So now I'm playing slow roll, which is a top spin shot because the cue ball is uh, spinning forward. <clears throat> and you have to overcut that slightly. I don't recommend using side spin on this one because the cue ball might swerve because the, the pace is very slow. So what I'm actually doing here, I'm overcutting the black slightly. You might not recognize it. You might not know it, but what I'm doing, I'm overcutting the black a little bit. I mean, what I mean is I aim like here. I aim here on the pocket and the black ball goes here. It's that much overcut. I, I don't mean overcut like there. It's very tiny, very little, so you might not recognize that you're overcutting this. Because you played this shot, you know that shot. Now if you play more power, there is no need of overcut. Okay, so this is the qu three-quarter ball. And if I play medium pace, I don't need to overcut. I'll move the red ball about here, because the cue ball is going to hit the cushion go there so no side or just millimeter I'm using just millimeter or no side medium pace you don't need to overcut this one because now the shot have enough pace to cancel the throw now it becomes interesting in terms of cue ball control from this one. Many players, many players are um, trying to, when the red ball is a little bit higher, let's say here, many players are trying to play this with a little bit of stun to change the angle, to change the bounce of the cue ball and to be in position there. But this shot is very tough to, to, to control, so the best is to apply a little bit more side spin. This extra side spin is, is again, is going to help the pot, no problem with that whatsoever. But as well as helping the pot, you're going to help your cue ball control again. So here I'm going to use like one tip side, but it's more about the cue ball control now, not that much about the pot. It still helps the pot, but, but it's more about the cue ball control. Now watch how the cue ball is going to check off the cushion. So that's one tip left. So the cue ball checked. I'm not in perfect position on the red. But the cue ball checked a little bit. I wanted the cue ball to be slightly higher, slightly there. I didn't hit it with enough pace to make perfect position on this red. I was a bit low on the red. Um, but remember, this one is now again not that much about the pot. It was more about the cue ball control. Now let's proceed with the stun runs and and stun shots. So the soft stun run usually used to make position for this right here on the cushion. Three quarter bow black, soft stun run, you have to use some side. And because the shot is soft, you have to spin that cue ball a little bit. So this is now going to be more than one millimeter. It's going to be around half tip now watch the soft stun run, about half tip here on the black. So the cue ball spins a little bit 
and cancels the draw. So that was that was on 90 degrees. So that was the soft stun. Now I'm playing the soft stun run. So the cue ball is going to go a little bit more forward. Again, soft stun, soft stun run, stun screw. They're pretty much the same shots. And you have to use that side to cancel the throw. Even on three quarter ball block. So now that's soft stun run, half tip left. to cancel the throw and I'm in position for the red. <clears throat> so next is going to be stun run with uh, more power. Because I'm using more power, now I'm going to play one cushion here on the red. Because I'm using more power, I will reduce the side spin a little bit on this one. So it's going to be like in between that one millimeter and a little bit more. It's going to be personal. It's going to be your decision how much exactly. But uh, be careful to hit that ball without any side. You, if you hit the cue ball in the middle here, it's not a good idea. And be careful to hit the cue ball with too much side. So now watch the shot, watch how the cue ball is going to react off the cushion. So this is stun run, little bit of left hand side, kind of half tip. So the cue ball hits the cushion about there, little bit of side, and I'm in position for the red. Next shot is going to be the medium pace turn shot. Um, with that shot, the cue ball is going to come more that way. So I'll move this red here. So this is three quarter ball black stun shot. Cue ball is going to hit the cushion about there. With that side spin, it's going to come here. This is kind of half tip left on the cue ball. Quite pacey shot. Um, that was probably a bit more than medium pace. But you still play that little bit of side to help the pot. If you have the three quarter ball high black and if you have to play with lots of power you are going to go for just one millimeter side spin. There are many shots on the black, on the three quarter ball black, where you have to use lots of power to go off the cushion and to bring the cue ball in that part of the table. Um, so, so just one millimeter side on the stun run. You don't want to go more than that because the power is a lot that cancels the throw. So just one millimeter. And the cue ball goes, goes up the table. Um, it's pretty much the same philosophy for the stun shot. If you use lots of power on the stun shot, then you're going to reduce the sight. You're going to use just one millimeter, just insurance sight on the three quarter ball. So that's just one millimeter on the stun shot, hard stun. And the cue ball goes that direction, okay? Um, and I forgot to show you, and this is the last shot here, which I'm going to show you, the three quarter ball top spin with lots of power. Uh, th this shot is very interesting because the cue ball is going to hit the cushion and then it's going to arc. It's going to make that banana shot. Um, you don't use sight on this one because it's lots of power. 
you're going to go for middle of the white or just millimeter left to ensure yourself. But even if you hit the right hand part of the cubo on this one, it's not a problem because it's lots of power. But I'm talking like millimeters. If you miss hit it a lot, then you're going to miss, of course. So that's middle of the white, lots of power. And you can see how the cue ball hit the cushion, arcs and goes, goes there. Thank you very much for watching this part. Um, most important shots are on the black. And stay tuned because next Sunday is going to be the next part of the potting guide. Next Sunday, I'm going to show you the half ball, high blacks, maybe the most important shot of them all on the black. So stay tuned and see there are many interesting shots here on the high black. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you.